Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Nikolai and this is the third part in a series where I'm creating Kalis, a small script written in Java that allows you to write scripts in Java that are really, really fast. The first step was to wrap the JVM. So if you pass a script to Kalis, it will just pass it on and will get executed. The second part was to wrap Graz out of Time Compiler so that you can pass a script to Kalis and will then create a native image, which takes quite a while, but then launch the native image, which is really fast. Arguably the most important step is the one that's coming up. Given a script, Kalis has to determine whether it already knows it. If it doesn't, it has to run it with the JVM and in the background create the image. If it does know it, it has to find the image and launch that one. Now that begs the question how exactly we're going to identify whether we already know a script or not. But fear not, I'm going to show you that on stream. Let's get it on. <gasps> Holy shit! Holy shit, you see that it works! Fuck, the always done string substring last index of... What can I say? Um, can I be a little bit amazed how that this actually works? Whenever something like this happens, I'm like, nah, I must have made a mistake somewhere. But like, I don't know, it seems to work. It seems to look good. So this is a fine. This is the thing I'm not going to touch because this this thing is really like it, we didn't look at this, right? Um, script image and script image zero. Okay. Huh? Why do we have two? What the hell is this? A per I act some linking information. I don't know what this is. Anyway, the point is together like five megabytes, right? That's insane. Like five megabytes for the entire VM compiled to native code. That's really small. I mean, we don't use anything, right? We just really literally use system out exit, a system or print line thing and exit. Yeah, I think there's no way to write a smaller program than this. I mean, using less classes. Yeah, yes, there is on well, this one. Before we start back up, I just got something to drink, and on the way there, I, I went by my nightstand and I got I saw this book, Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. Does it? Would it ever be in focus? Come on, come on, focus, come on! I, ah, fuck me. Okay, so it's called Trevor, Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. You might know Trevor Noah. He's the guy who's run, who runs the um, the Daily Show. So many American late night shows, Daily Show, I think. He's 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 a pretty cool guy, and the book is really interesting. So if you're interested at all in um, how life was in, in South Africa during and after apartheid. But I mean, not, not in an, like, if you're interested in that, read the book. If you're interested in something funny, uh, read it as well. Like, it's just really well written. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun to, to read it. Uh, I can't wait, like, I started a couple days ago and I only read it in, in the end of the day, like, usually. Um, and usually I just get, like, three pages done before I fall asleep, but not because of the books, but you know, because I go to bed late and I tend to be tired by then. But I really, I read most of the book and it's really great. I can only recommend that. So where are we at? We have two ways to execute the, the script that, you, that can be thrown at us. We can tell the JVM to run directly or we can tell the, uh, uh, the compiler and then growl to first compile to bytecode and then create a native image out of that. We can, we can we now we're now able to do both of those things. Uh, we do the small refactoring I just told you about, and then we can start handling the case that the either or, like um, store the image on disk and then look up the image on disk. Right, so let's do that. First, as I said, I want to give a process builder back here. It's not execute after OT, it's... Um, well, yeah, we can, we can keep calling it that. That's okay with me. Uh, process builder 
which just returns this. It gets a little bit ridiculous to have such a small method, but we'll see whether we need that. This is supposed to return a process builder as well. Uh, actually, with JVM create script path, prepare process is better than start process then. Um, prepare, prepare script execution. And we're gonna call this one prepare native execution. I like these, um, what you call them? Symmetries. Okay, thing and now let's just just for fun let's do like basically let's do a switch. Let's say um, thread local random current next boolean. If that process builder script roll the next boolean. And then either execute after AOT or execute with JVM. This does not make a lot of sense to put this here now, but what I basically want to demonstrate here to myself, so to speak, is that we can do both. Refactoring. Um, start process in outer method instead of in the in, in the center like where it was before like if further we delegate it down and we got a process back that already launched and that feels weird so now we delegate down and get a process builder back and then on the top level I'll execute that okay and that is that that's good now, we want to write stuff to disk. So far, we always removed the final... Well, we didn't. Well, we. So Kalis did not remove anything ever, but the whole demo works in the way that it continuously deletes and recreates the entire build script. What we want to have now is we want to have an internal st external storage. So first of all, the storage, of course, will also be ignored. I don't want to commit that accidentally. So I want to have, is that storage? I want, let's call it images. Images. And then here in Kalis, we're going to have a private static final images directory, which is called image, images. Okay, and the idea is that the script files, I just want to do this very, very simple, uh, very simply. What I want to do is I want to hash the file's content and I want to store the resulting image under that hash. So the idea is get the script file, hash the content as quickly as possible, and then look whether we find in the folder images, we find an image we'll find a file with that hash as a file name. If we do run that, fine. If we don't, tell the JVM to run the script and at the same time run in the background or background, you know, run the um, run the compilation. So those are several steps. The first one is to put stuff into images. I want to start with something that asserts that the folder is there. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, well. Files, is there a create image or something? Create directories, images, dear. Does this work? And now I want to turn this, for, for a moment at least, into false, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense, just to 
not have the long execution there because you know creating the IoT image takes some time. There's images, awesome. Okay, so I create the file images. And now it should do nothing, right? No, mist no error, nothing. Just, just accept that it's already there. Perfect. For now, let's create the image every time. We can do the if then else layer. Even though that's like the if then else is so trivial, maybe we do it at the same time after all. But for now, we want to find out how to hash a script file content. It's not clear how that how that will work. Oh, hi Everett, are you still there? Murmur or skip hash is fast and reasonably collision free, I think. It's used for these kinds of things. Then, okay. See, I, I just want someone to tell me what to do. Let's do that then. Well, I'm happy actually, what I'm happy about is that I can pipe in bytes. So that because that feels fast. <laughs> I was afraid that I have to read like, read like strings and then I'm not even sure whether that makes a difference. Maybe it's just me not knowing how the JVM works. But like just speaking about performance, this operation has to be as fast as possible because we do that before we execute the script. So even if we're blazingly fast native image execution, if this takes too long, if this takes like 50 milliseconds, it takes 10 times as much um, as running the native image, which would really suck. Ah, uh, you know what? Now we're reading the file twice. Now we're reading the file twice. That's 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 not great. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. Uh, consider joining this with Kimafix right? Hi, Nikolai. Just point. Just joined the stream. What you're playing with at the moment? Gonna tell you in a second. Uh, consider joining us with create compatible image. Create compilable script. Uh, to, in the meantime, read the, the on the right hand side. There's a text file. Read that. It will tell you a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to tell you where exactly I'm stuck at the mo in the moment. So join this with uh, to um, avoid reading twice. Although, no. Once again, like, what? IntelliJ is frozen. No, it's no, it's the other way around. So first, I don't want to consider joining this. I never want to join this. I want this to be as fast as possible. And the other one is a slow part anyway. So I'm going to do that the other way around. So saving a few milliseconds. Doesn't make a difference because remember, creating uh, the native image takes like 30 seconds. So, shaving off a couple milliseconds, who gives a shit? By the way, regarding performance, that info bytes buffer is a bit small. Okay. That's a magic number of what the kids use today. Oh, not that one, I guess. This is just the raw script, right? So script path doesn't make sense. This is also just the raw script. Uh, create native image, that's the compilable script. Um, I wonder, I'm not gonna do that now, but I wonder whether script and compilable script should be types. Just wrap around the path basically, but that could, Actually, if you add some methods, they could really make the code more readable. But we're not going to do that now. We're just going to stick to path here. But you know, this is the problem. This is basically like st stringly typed code. The problem that you have two things, like a path to a script and a path to a compilable script, that are really not the same. They are different properties. They are basically, they're, they have, they should be different types. If they're not, you can, you know, 
like here you can just you know get confused and uh, pass one as the other which we shouldn't that's not great there's a prepare native image execution method and there's a method prepare native execute off image uh, native this could be called prepare native execution of script of script and um, that makes more sense okay so see if image were not a path but an image type which basically could be just an alias for uh, alias for path at this point uh, we could distinguish this method even more easily they could both be called prepare native image execution and just be differentiated by one of them takes a script and the other one takes an image but you know we didn't have these types we don't have these types so this is fine Um, so what we're doing now is we're gonna, uh, not, not gonna get, ah, oh, I hate get. Yeah, okay, we have that already. So check some. So now what we're doing is we're gonna be, um, return files dot exists um, images dear dot resolve checksum the problem here is we need the checksum too later like on the outside here somewhere here we need the checksum too because if that does not exist, we want to create it and want to pass the name of the file into the entire process. So we have to pull that out actually. Ugh, that's just stupid. I'm not thinking here. Oh, look, it knows that if you want to have, if you have a string and want to get a path, you can do this. IntelliJ is quite clever. We don't want to do that now, though. Oh no, that was correct. Okay, so now we uh, we create the path to the script. Uh, we create a file, create a checksum, not file. Create a checksum for that. We create a checksum for the content. Should we mention that it's from the content? Should be written somewhere in the documentation that we're using making and creating this uh, checksum based on the content so the content is the important part here but you know documentation comes later <laughs> if it exists then this does not make any sense at all if it exists eh, go away if it exists then we prepare native execution from cache of that checksum otherwise we're gonna prepare script execution oh damn it so uh, what am I what am I damning about this is not a single process anymore um, prepare native execution from cache that would be oh we already uh, have an image for that we pick out the image we create a small process around it there you go run that that's easy the other one is run the run it with the JVM in the foreground while at the same time in the background AOT compiling it although one could argue that just AOT compiling in the foreground and then running it would be fine too but I'm not one of those so what I want to do here is I want to run this side by side also it's more fun the problem is that with two processes that's not trivial the cool thing about Java I think it's Java 9 yeah Java 9 introduced uh, a method on process where you could say wait for and it's not it's not like wait for which is a blocking call you can get better completable future and the cool thing about that is if you can get back a completable future from the process 
then you get a completable future from one process, get a completable future from the other process, and then return a completable future which uh, completes when both of these complete. That is really easy. Now I wonder... Uh, can we can we do the completable future thing ourselves? I'm looking for the method uh, where you can get a completable future from the process. I want to see whether the implementation is complicated or not. On exit, there we go. Supply async, wait for internal. That's not good. Ugh. Yeah, okay, so we can't do the completable future thing ourselves. Um, so that really means we either have to ch we have to change well, how this works here. What we can do is we can just give back a list or an array of process builders. So each of these could basically return like as many. Is that nice? Is that ugly? How ugly is that? And the other question is: Does it is it worth making this effort, or should we just sim should we really just say look? Um, we're gonna we're gonna create the native image first and then well that's bad that I mean if the script runs more than a split second it's really valuable to have that in the background just two threads and join on them so each run method says wait for and then I join on them that should work right should it I think it should. So what do we return here though then? I mean now to do it, right? I could just return two process builders here and then just wait for the one and then wait for the other. Wanna well, start the JVM first? Don't wait. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's what I want to do. Exactly, uh, aggregator. I first want to run the JVM and in the background at the same time we'll run the compilation. But the point is how do I put this in this? How do I change this to make it work? Because this expects one process builder. If this would expect one completable future, we could basically keep the API. Okay, with the, the completable future thing doesn't work. We covered that. So then the other thing is, um, what do we return here? Like, how do we... I think we're just basically going to not have return the process builder here. I think it's just going to be do this or do that. Execute image from cache should be really easy. Let's do that first. That should basically just be... Um, images dear resolve checksum that's the image path and then where's the process builder for that again? Oh, we already know how to execute that, right? Um, prepare native execution of image. That should be this one. Of image path, image. okay. Oh, no, we don't need that. We can just say start and then wait for and then we're done execute script and create image that's a little bit that's actually that's a little bit trickier not a lot but a little bit trickier um, the hardest part is to know where to put this method and create image. I put it outside of here as well. So now let's hear about those the, the tricks that you have. So the idea is is that is that setting method on thread by the way? No, right? No, you just have to go new thread. Oh, but thread takes a runnable. Oh man, this is horrible. Uh, what do we do with exceptions? Now we have to handle exceptions here. Eh, whatever. But why? What, but why? 
I thought we, we thought we decided on just start the first and then do the rest. All right, we don't need the threads here anymore. Yeah, good good thing someone is paying attention. You're totally right. What we're doing here is down here somewhere. Use JVM. Prepare script execution of that script path. Yeah, that should work. Um, that's the script. The script process. Oh, it's a running script still. That's better. Running script. We call used that MV4. That's a running script. And then also we want to prepare. No, we don't want to do that. Want to create a native image in the background? Create compiler script. Prepare. Basically, we want to do this. These two. Do we ever? We never want to do this anymore. So this is obsolete. But now, what I don't yet have mentally together, we create a compiler script in the new path. That's good. Then we create a native image from that. That's also good. And then we're done, right? Then we just copy that. Then we just say, we create the native image. And then we say path um, checksum, checksum image, checksum, no, um, target is images dear resolve. That's where we need the checksum. Resolve the checksum and then we files dot move. We need copy options. Anybody know any copy options that we need? Copy option. Ah. Replace existing. That wouldn't make sense. Move the file as an atomic. Sure. Sure. If we have that option. Oh, standard copy. About the replace existing I don't mind like um, Actually, the created native image is not created in another process at all. At the moment, it's created in the exact same process. Because, oh no, it's not. Sorry, I'm, I'm mistaken here. This is an external call. Oh, sorry, this is an external call. I'm not sure I like how this is structured, but it's going to work. Uh, the reason why I don't like that is Now we block here. I would prefer not to block here. I would prefer not to have this method being blocking. I would prefer this method to give me back something that takes some time um, to be done. But we're not quite the, uh, there yet. It doesn't work at the moment. Um, consider creating the image in a sibling process that does not get killed. That belongs down here. Compile to... No, that's not where we are. We're here. Running the script, creating it, and then running script dot wait for and then we're done this is let's see okay i got like minus five minutes <laughs> uh let's run this let's run this 
<laughs> yeah, drum roll, seriously, drum roll. That's good. That's the output of the process, and the rest is the compiler talking. So this is great. So we got these. Op so we got the if check worked. We got that thing running, and we got the compilation running. And now images should contain a file which has a useless name. That's awesome. Exactly what I wanted. Now the question is second time. Come on. We should expect like half a second, half a second or a second of delay until our Kali script is running and then it should be boom. Woo! Oh, my family is asleep next room. <laughs> yes! Yes, this is awesome. It just fucking works. Now, 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 let's see. Let's add an exclamation point here. Oh, wow. How can this just work? <laughs> it's a crazy, stupid idea. And it worked within like four hours. <laughs> this is this is when programming is fun. I mean, like, sometimes you wait through stupid shit for hours and hours on the end. And in the end, you just, like, find the most stupid explanation. Change a single character and wish you're... Wish you never had this bug, but sometimes it's like this. Kapow! Oh, you know how to use the emotes? I don't actually. Great! Awesome! Wow, that was fun. That was really fun and it worked. Um, good! Tons of to-dos in here, tons of stuff still needs fixing. Uh, but this is the proof of concept is done. It works. Uh, you can use Java 11 source file single source file execution scripting capabilities to run the script in the background, compile it with, with Graal, and then on the next run you just pull the native image out of your head. The only thing that really remains is to see whether how this works when Kali's gets compiled to native image, but as I said, I'm not going to do that now. So, with all of that, thank you very much for being here. I had so much fun doing this. Uh, it was amazing, and I hope to do that again. Maybe actually, maybe tomorrow evening. Um, I'm going to continue working on this, but I'm not sure. I can't promise anything. Follow me on Twitter where I'm at NipaFX. Oh, by the way, this thing is not there because, well, I want you to know who I am, but also this is where all the garbage is hidden that, you know, I have to put somewhere while I'm streaming. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, have a good time. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll see you sometime next week. Uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you around. Bye!